Our journey is coming to an end, the final day. For one week, Courtney and I have been eating our way across Jeju Island, trying to learn as much about Jeju's culinary culture as possible. Our journey was sponsored by the Jeju Food and Wine Festival, who selected 17 restaurants from their list of 200 participating in the Jeju Gourmet Week. On the list today, gauchi jorim, grilled pheasant, and a barbecue cooked by a Hanyo diver. Tucked away in a tiny alleyway near the famous Dongmun Market in Jeju City, a couple of grandmothers are serving warm bowls of Jeju pheasant buckwheat noodles and garlic marinated grilled pheasant. I have to mention the history of this dish, as pheasant is a well-known traditional Jeju ingredient, and buckwheat noodles highlight the difficulty of growing rice in the island's shallow volcanic soil. But beyond the history and tradition lie some of the kindest harmonies I have ever met. Coming to Gormok Shikdang is like walking into a warm hug. I am so excited for this. This is gonna be so good. So we are actually in, uh, Courtney, what's the market called? Dong, Dongmun Fish Market. And then this is actually the shopping street, Gormok Shijang. And there's just a tiny little pheasant restaurant, which pheasant's really famous in Jeju. But this is like definitely family run, like handmade market restaurant and already they're making they're building the banchan the banchan looks so good nice wow don't boss yeah wow look at the garlic stems a sun dried ah thank you wow thank you wow kimchi looks so good at the Dude, this looks like I could just do big fun. So you take us here. Oh, one just take go. You get cool. Let's get the mano and dulki them or chamgirum. Chamgirum, chamgirum, mago mano. Kong tari bui. Oh, okay. Only the pheasant yeah. leg. Yeah. Not the breast. Mm -hmm. Smells so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 The smell, <laughs> the name said smile. <laughs> wow, so good. Ooh. Ooh. Kimchi joy. Yeah, kimchi mm, Really good. Okay. Sun dried mu. Mu, which is a big radish. Dried radish. Wow. Mm. So good. No more mushy soil. Of course, kong. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm so hungry. Oh, it's really so Yeah, Wow, real much. Yeah, it's Hmm, hmm, Yeah, but really good. All right, and then finally, garlic stem. This is the biggest garlic stem I've ever seen. Mm. Wow, it's nice. It's more chewy. Turkey, turkey. So, yeah. so good. So good. We have some chamgirim and sogum. Oh. And this is guang. Guanggui. It's my first time. Jeju San Guang. Whoa! So soft. Yeah, really tender, really soft. I thought it would be like chicken, like 
but it's not like chicken. Almost more like lamb or something. Mm -hmm. Wow, mm -hmm. really strong garlic taste. Wow, it's really, really delicious. <laughs> wow. It's that really intense garlic. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. You're right though, it's not, it's like the texture of chicken. Yeah. But the flavor is more. I don't, I don't know what. I'm little baby. Mmm, 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 mmm. Like, the guang just explodes with, with flavor and juices. It's so tender. <laughs> Too. The kimchi with the kimchi is amazing. Mm. So we got guang kagutsu, guang gui, amazing kimchi. So this is gonna be so good. Now get over it. So delicious. Um, Actually, there's some bones in this, but they're so soft. Dude, it's like thick chicken and dumpling soup. Wow. So good. It's got a little peppery taste to it. It just feels like like you're in someone's home. It feels like you're in someone's home. I love it. Yeah, they're really nice. I wonder why they only use the leg meat. I don't know. More tender. Maybe. I wonder if they usually cook it like on the fire. Oh. This is my favorite bite because the mu has some small vinegar. And the guang is very oily and garlicky. Oh, my The crunch is really nice yeah. too. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, oh, it's like super. <laughs> and then you get the broth and with it too. Much better. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Is it mimiu? Mimiu kaku sui? Mimiu? Mimiu kaku sui. Mimiu kaku sui. Mimiu kaku Chicken and dumpling soup. Yeah. Uh, if you guys don't know, like in the Midwest we have chicken and dumpling soup. It's a little more garlicky than this, but it reminds me a lot of that. Because the noodles in here are so soft. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Or like in the winter times. This is a killer bowl of kabutsu. One of the best. It's so delicious. Mm. Mm. The garlic taste. So strong. It's like eating garlic chicken wings. Like, I don't know. On our way out, the Harmonies gave us some bitter orange to make tea for better health. I couldn't help but feel the spirit of my late grandmother, who I miss dearly. This place was truly special. Okay, it's bucket list time. I'm talking about the famous Jeju Gaoshi Jorin. So Guipo's Deujong is famous for their signature Jeju seafood dishes. And as participants in the Jeju Gourmet Week since its beginning in 2016, 
This place is a veteran with an extremely high reputation for damn good food. This is Jeju Okpongui. Let's do a little taste. We're gonna need rice though. Steamy. Dude. Mmm. -hmm. That is so nice. It's so fresh. We need I didn't rice. Know that this is a fish. See? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. Wow, thanks, Jojo. The colors of it are so good, too. Oh, I'm so excited for gauchi jewelry. Dude, the gauchi they're using is huge. Look at that. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, it does. It looks amazing. Dude. Wow. Wow. The bones just slide off of it. It's so yeah. soft. It's very small. Look at this. Actually, this is good. I didn't realize there were bones in it, but. Look at this. It's so easy to just slide them off. Broth is amazing. It's like potatoes in here. Yeah. Onion. Actually, it's like I've never really had this taste Leaks. in Korea before. It's like gravy. Yeah. Man. It's really thick, but deep wow. gravy. I taste a little vinegar. It's radish. Definitely radish. Yeah. Huge chunks of radish. I taste a little vinegar, lots of garlic, lots of soy. I love this. I really, really love this. This is, it just, it's hard to describe the taste. I don't know if I've ever had. So flavorful. Tons of like gochu, vinegary. I've never had gochu joram like this before. It's my obsession. It's so fat, like so fatty and rich. It's like the richest fish ever. Wow. I'm gonna add a little bit of the gachi jok to the seng a little bit of rice. Look at this beautiful bite. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, Courtney. Oh, oh. That gauchi jot is so strong. I'm gonna cough. No, but like in a good way. Well, yeah. It's like, you should try it. <laughs> it's so delicious, but. Unreal. This is this is awesome. <laughs> I've never had an experience like that. That was crazy. That was so crazy. I've never had it. Oh my gosh. It just it just bites you. Try you need to try that. That is that is crazy food. It's like Basically, you take gauchi and you control its rot. <laughs> oh my god. That is like the stinkiest cheese. 
But this is like unlike anything I've tried. Ma'am. Wow. Got you, Jorim. No more mashi soya. Chit mashi soya. Uh, can we get a uh, chumbok do sopa pana chuga to say? Yeah, can someone? Well, I'm there was a yoke. Ah, main mat. Chit mashi soya. Yeah, yeah, so delicious. I can send you that. They're so worried about the spice. It's actually not even that spicy, actually. Oh, I love, I love you, Korea, but please, please just give us spicy food. <laughs> I know, it's a, it's a politeness, like, it's a politeness, but for real, it's like, if a foreigner comes and complains about the spice, just tell them to leave. <laughs> like, this is too perfect. If any of my old cheese co-workers watch this video, you gotta know. This is fermented uh, silvertail fish. It tastes just like Ardrahan. Ardrahan or Stinky Bishop. This is good old fashioned margarine, straight up butter. Now the question is how much do we want to care about our health? I think that's enough. Oh. You only live once. One more, okay. Butter makes everything better, for sure. It's melting all over the chombok, oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, you can smell, it smells like popcorn. <laughs> Should we put a little bit more in? Let's taste it first. The, the end of our meal, buttered chumbuk dosa pap. It's the butter, ma'am. The butter is so good in this dish. Like, it is so good. <laughs> this dish should always have butter in it. I, I think love I it agree. Without butter, too. Like, it's, yeah. it's a delicious dish. But with the butter, it's like another level. <laughs> Whoa. Genius! I feel so lucky to have met Yi Yu Jong. In the morning, she joins a team of Hanyo divers looking for fresh seafood. And at night, she runs Hanyo Goki, a black pig barbecue restaurant that tries to capture her experience of grilling pork and seafood with her fellow Hanyo. One look at her Instagram shows that she also finds time to model as a representative young Jeju diver. And despite her wonderful, kind heart, I have no doubt that she has a killer spirit and an incredibly admirable, hardworking attitude. Her restaurant is filled with relics of her love for diving. She grills meat and takes care of patrons while wearing her traditional Hanyo diver clothes. You can feel the pride she has for her culture in every corner of her shop. Yi Yujong is Hanyo Goki, a Goki Jip gem on Jeju Island, and a place that I hope to return to often. Guys, so we just came to Hanyo Goki and really suddenly like all this food started coming the, the 
matcha is so beautiful. Um, yeah, so right now we're cooking. We got 600 grams of pukwe. We have some dried, uh, this is dried gachi. Twigim. Oh, twigim. Ah, so fried. Right. Oh, so we got twigim. Twigim uh, uh, gachi. Gachi twigim. You want to try too? I tried already, okay. but I'll try again. Wow. Wow. Ginger mm. mashi soil. Really crunchy, really oily. Ah, uh, yeah. Here we go, the moment of truth. With some salt. Wow, it looks perfect. It looks so soft. Alright, Sajang Nim cooked it perfectly for us. It looks so soft. Wanna try first? Go for it. All together? Here we go. Whoa. Really? How? Oh my god. It's like that's softer than most hokkaido. <laughs> the 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 texture is so soft. Yeah, nilja. Okay. Wow. It's so good. Like, it's hard to explain, but the texture is so soft. Like, even softer than normal. Okay. Here we go. This is gonna be. Kamshima. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, so good. I really want it with the kimchi. Wow, guys. Mm. It's like we're like, oh, we're here. Just wasabi, yeah. and then the next one, just wasabi, and then the next one, and then the next one, with the radish. Guys, this is so good. I like it because she's like building bites for us. Just now, just now, my mouth started filling with water. It's actually hard to talk, like... So just my mouth is watering from this. Gip mm -hmm. is gonna be so crispy. The, uh, wow. Mm -hmm. What makes this place a little bit special? For Manwan, you can get five tongo. So nice. This is gonna be the best. Wow. This is like the ultimate Jeju bite. <laughs> So soft, so delicious. Amazing. Yeah. 
Henio Goki, Himu Ramen. One week, 17 restaurants. The Jeju Food and Wine Festival was kind enough to show us exactly what makes this island special. We had some amazing food, but more importantly, we met some incredible Jeju locals along the way. What was once a place for me to vacation has now become a place for me to visit good friends, share a meal, and a shot of soju or two. Before closing, I just want to say thank you to everyone on Jeju Island who met us with open hearts, who fed us and took care of us. And thank you for the Jeju Food and Wine Festival, especially Somi, who showed a true understanding of the philosophy behind eating what is given. Your list of matjip in this experience will never be forgotten. And last of all, thank you for everyone who's always watching our videos. Without you, nothing like this could have ever been possible. So what's next? Back to the mainland, I suppose.